G'day viewers and welcome to this week's episode of PB's Retro Restorations. I'll be your host, PB, haha. <laughs> anyway, this week I'm doing the Matchbox Major Pack number 6 or the King Size number 5, whichever you prefer, they did change it at some stage. That was generously sent to me by Johnny V a long, long time ago and it's been on my pile to do and today we're doing it. So without further ado, let's get crack a lacking as they say at Le Mans and get onto this one. Okay, now Johnny V sent me this one a long time ago. Um, and to be sure, I'm not exactly sure why, but I got tyres for it, I got the decals for it, uh, and then for some reason got put on my back burner, but no longer. No longer. Um, glass is a bit ordinary, but again, I'm going to rather keep the original and clean it up. Um, now, Michael from Gravesend made me a cast of this back door, which is pretty good. I might have a go at 3D printing it as well, but we'll see. Let's get it apart first, eh? some stage of its life that's come adrift that's easy fixed or is it oh it's designed to be so you can pull it back and put it down lift it up and hook it into place okay the interior steering wheel still intact Nothing wrong with that, just needs eight clean. And we've got a big glass piece, which of course is held in with rivets. It's pretty badly busted up to be honest, but I think that replacement glass is about 15 bucks, so and I'm a skin flint. Now it also looks like if you can see here it's got a twist in it. You can see it just by doing that. But also I think that means it should be fairly easy to twist. Back in the shape. It's not that badly out of shape. I think I might have fixed it just there. All right. This has come through that post. It might come through all of the magnet viewers. Don't think we're going to be that lucky. I don't know how you'd round that back over anyway. <sighs> Two mines, viewers. No, it's got to come out. As you all probably know, and some of you might not, so don't hate me if I tell you something you already know. The reason the tyres fall off these things is these plastic hubs, over time, they shrink. Um, whatever oil or something, whatever's in the plastic evaporates out of them, they shrink. 
um, that's why their tyres have fallen off and that's also why these hubs won't spin freely on the axles anymore because that hole inside shrunk too so anyway another spellbinding fact for your viewers for a new one, eh?
earlier you heard me say I think I fixed that just by twisting it in my hand but of course I was kidding myself and it was actually twisted to the point where the base plate wouldn't sit in it properly it would fall out if you shook it hard enough and it actually took quite a bit of finoodling and belting with a hammer and putting it in the boiling water and trying to twist it back into shape and eventually working out why the base plate would keep falling out but it did work it out in the end but it did take a long time No, we don't. Okay, so spray painting. Well, the first time I spray painted anyway. Uh, the first colour I chose looked like a British Racing Green, but once I got on there and it dried, man, oh man, was it dark. It was miles too dark, but I persevered with it. And uh, but then I bought some decals. And I ruined them, which necessitated stripping it anyway. So I took the opportunity to try a lighter green, which you're seeing me apply here. And I'm much happier with that green. And I got the decals on without ruining them the second time, which was good too.
course, I say I ruined the first set. That's not to suggest I didn't have problems with the second set. <laughs> Shit. But in both cases, I'm happy to report, as you already know, it was my fault for impatience or whatever. I don't know, but it's always my fault. This is another one of those cases where the font isn't quite right. Um, when I looked on the sheet, I thought, oh, these are really good. But then when I was watching my the transition between the old and the new, you could see just how incorrect they are. It drives me insane, viewers. But anyway, what are you going to do? Beggars can't be choosers, right? wanted to try and use the original glass, A, because it's fairly pricey to replace, and B, I always prefer the original. I'd rather have the cracked original than the, some of the repros that are out there. But that meant working with this fairly heavily cracked and scratched unit. I uh, used my soft sanding pads. I think I started with an 8,000, no, actually 3,600, and worked my way up to 12,000. Uh, did a few times, you know, with each one. Uh, and I'm reasonably happy with considering what it was like you know I'm pleased I'm happy with it
So Michael from Gravesend Diecast Salvage Australia sent me a few bits and pieces a long time ago when I actually first said I was going to start working on this one. Uh, he sent me a couple of his own castings uh, in resin of the rear doors. Uh, I did end up using a metal one. Uh, so you have to forgive me, Michael. And yes, I am still working on the Dinky EJ. I haven't... It's like this one. It's 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 a project... A work in progress. That's what I'm trying to think of. What an idiot. Okay, well that went better than I thought it would, viewers. So using the power of television trickery, here's all our refreshed parts magically appearing before your eyes. Ooh. Well, you know the best way to get more glue out of a bottle is to squeeze it really hard, right? I managed to clean it all up. I'm just glad I used white glue. <sighs> My own worst enemy, viewers. So I forgot to film myself doing it. But I've used a little bit of that same glue to try and hold the hubs on the tyres a bit better. Because um, the hubs shrink, as you all know. Well, that won't be the last we hear of those tyres. Um, stay tuned for that. Uh, here's where I started to try and put this back together. And as I mentioned earlier, it turned out not to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. But you'll see. Now this one's going to go of yours. Mm. Yeah, it just fell straight out. It didn't even give me the courtesy of trying to stay in there. I had a crack at it from the other side as well, but it made no difference. So another tactic was required. That's just not going to work, viewers. <sighs> so now it's time for some good old-fashioned PB dodgy repairs. Uh, that's what you come here for, isn't it, viewers? Or to see me slice my fingers off. Welcome to PB... Oh, you... Anyway, if you can believe it, the dodgy method took several attempts to make it right, but make it right I did. I did. So I should explain myself if it's not already obvious. I'm trying to cut a wafer thin shim out of an aluminium Coke can to make up for the lack of purchase on the head of the bolt that holds the woozer on. How was that for an explanation, viewers? You're welcome. Stay tuned for more expert tips.
I'm sure I'll slice my finger any minute soon. I'll let that go overnight. We'll see if it works, viewers. Well, it'll do the trick, viewers. not falling out and <coughs> excuse me um and you won't see it when the sides are on so i'm gonna call that a win but you know with every yin there has to be a yang and while i had a win there i was about to have a loss here Oh, these tyres are the wrong size. <laughs> I thought they were all the same. I'm an idiot. So normally this would be where I tell you some sad story how I waited six months for a replacement set of tyres from somewhere, but I actually already bought a set. Ha 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 ha. For the BP Wrecker. I've got one of those to do as well. Um... Unfortunately, these are correct for the racing transporter as well, so I'll have to buy another set of tyres. I don't think I've got a matching set of the slightly smaller back. ones, but um, anyway, that's my problem, isn't it? Where viewers, that's what happens when you assume. Makes me look like a loser. Well, at least I use white glue. Still a bit loose. That's better. Tell you what, it only takes a little bit to make the difference, doesn't it? Well, they're not spinning. I mean, they're not falling off. 
They're a little bit tired on there, but I'm not playing with it either, so. This was a bit of a good time for a little while too. I incorrectly assumed the interior would drop in like they do with a lot of them, but it actually clips onto the base with two little hooks that are on the back of the chair that goes on that metal divider between the cabin and the uh, load space. But anyway. You can almost hear the light bulb go on, can't you, viewers? Bing! Well, you all saw that coming, didn't you? And they say the first sign of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. <laughs> so in an effort to prove I'm not insane after doing the same thing a couple of times with a little teeny teeny tiny dab of blue tack underneath just to hold it there hopefully for long enough for me to get it together and bolt it up. Now, if you're waiting for the bit where I make a wonderful carton for this car, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Um, I have designed the carton, but of course I found being a king size, it required an A3 card printer to print it out on, which I didn't have access to. I am making a carton for it. I might put out a separate video when I do it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Otherwise, I'll just keep it to myself. And just be miserable about it. <laughs> So in typical PB fashion viewers, I was taking uh, some of the glamour shots, so I started taking all my glamour shots, I got excited and then I realised I hadn't painted any of the details on the front of it yet. So we'll be right back. <laughs> what a tool. I think I'm going to give up trying to give the facade of a well-oiled machine here at PB's Retro Restorations and just stop living a lie. <laughs> Anyway, I'm using that Posca pen again. I love it. I've bought a black one now. Uh, I've got a project I'm working on at the moment. Um, it should be perfect for that. I really love it. I, I wish Molotow, like if you could get this in a Molotow, would be good, but I guess the paint, the ink would go off. Anyway. All right, now for realsies, with no grief or trouble whatsoever, we're done. Hooray! All right, back to the start with our generous donation from Johnny V that I've had for well over a year and been sitting on. Sorry, Johnny V, I, I am getting to all these, just finding the time to get to them all sometimes is a first world problem, I know, viewers. But anyway, 
Here it is spinning around with its slightly uh, cattywampus frame, its loose ramp. Uh, no tyres, pretty ordinary paint, scratched up. You know, the usual story with these things. At least the glass wasn't completely smashed in as it so often is. But anyway, I digress. This is what we started with, dear viewer. And this is what we're left with now. Ta-da! Looking a million bucks now, isn't it, viewers? With its replacement door, replacement decals, fresh paint, replacement tyres. As you can see, the decals, the font in them doesn't quite match up. And I know it probably shouldn't bother me, but it does sometimes glass made the most of what was there thank you johnny v for the opportunity to work on one of these um i'm really pleased with how this one's come out uh, i hope you've enjoyed the video Alright, thanks for taking the time out of your day to come and watch my video viewers. I know you've got thousands of choices on the internet and you've chosen to watch mine. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know, tell your friends, all that stuff. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell for alerts. And you too can be swept away to a world of PB magic every time a new video drops. I want to say thank you very much to everyone who persevered with last week's video, the Coke machine and the sound issues I had. And I also appreciate all the honest feedback and people letting me know. Uh, let me rectify it. It wasn't a really good video anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Thank you, viewers. I'm still getting the hang of this software, but hopefully this one's been really good. So, But if it's not, be sure to let me know. I can always cop constructive criticism. At any rate, have a great weekend, a safe weekend, and I will see you next time right here at the diecast capital of the universe. PB's Retro Restorations. Thank you. Bye.